Today's topic. My name is Bruno and I became a black person. <laughs> no, 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 oh my god, come on man, oh no, this is quality American television, oh. no one knew that I was actually black when I had my white makeup on, for six weeks, two families, my family, the black family, got together in a house in the valley in LA, and we decided to swap races, would go into makeup and become the opposite race, we became black, they became white. Then we moved in together. Then we moved in together. Nigga, I cannot do this. <laughs> Nigga, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We're the Wurgles, a uh, typical white American family from Santa Monica. I just wanted to really poke into the issue of race. I've never played this game before. I don't know how to play. I was curious to see how the world would react to me as a black person. Many times I was shocked. <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't look black. You look like a white man who left a coal mine. Okay? He does not look black. No, no, that's offensive. You don't look black. You look dirty. <laughs> This is all over the place. He looks like a fucking Tintin character. Yes. Yo. You know those guys who would yeah. like carry him around and go ooga booga? Yeah. He looks like that. He looks like that. We are the Sparks family. We just a typical black family from Atlanta. Growing up in Michigan as light skin, green eyes. Uh, I had to fight the darker skinned blacks because I was too light. And then I had to fight the whites because I was too dark. So I had racism from both sides. Being white felt different. Wow. Very different. <laughs> That's Dave Chappelle right there. When he wow. was the fool. Felt like my stroke just got suddenly better. <laughs> I, I know what tell you. Mo and I just changed my skin color. I just felt like, wow, my, my stroke game is just so much better. So <laughs> We did something no one else has ever done. I don't like being made up. And none of us will be the same again. She looks like the type of white girl to become a teacher and go to the hood. And be like, I can save you guys. How do you guys feel about poetry? <laughs> Remember Freedom Riders? Yeah. Uh, being a former basketball player, I always thought how nice it would be to be able to jump, get off the ground, leap, and slam dunk like these guys can. And there's no doubt about it. Uh, blacks are superior, you know, physically, uh, hands down. <laughs> he was on the mob. Hey, man. Mob. I'm not even mad at it. Oh, my God. I'm not even mad at it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> you wow. look like oh, um, you uh, look as white. white as you. Come on, white girl, come on. Oh my god, that is so strange. Oh my god, Bruno. It's nice. Yeah, I, I love black. I mean, visually. <laughs> I can't. I'm only, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't, I can't do this. I can't, bro, I can't do it. I can't do it. Visually, I, I love black. That is exactly what every nigga wants to hear as he pulls out his penis. That, <laughs> that is. I, I love black. I mean, visually and somehow heart-wise, there's a warmth. You're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> 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 It's just weird. Ugh. It's fucking weird. See, it pees off. You know what it feels like? Nothing is gonna come out. You know of what this. it feels like? I think I know what it feels like. See, it pees off, man. It feels like. It feels like you're behind. Like a see-through glass, and someone's just being like, "Wow, I like darkness." <laughs> Oh, he looks warm. Can I touch him, honey? He look like a really nice man. <laughs> Oh my God. She got jungle fever. She got jungle fever. And that's when she realized that. Yeah, she's <laughs> like, oh my God. You really look like a black man that's hot. I wonder if your penis got bigger. <laughs> this is a G C C yep. Yeah, this is definitely gonna be part of their role play. She's digging it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you guys have never heard of race play, uh, they definitely are gonna be into that. Yeah. God, it's just really beautiful. That's just like I'm in love with this woman. It's beautiful. You're adorable! <laughs> 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 
Scary. Yeah, that's she, what said, I'm she said scary. Like, like you know what? You know what the thing is? No matter what they say, they can't win. They can't win. No, they can't win. But they're not helping themselves. They can't. Win. How do you see your dad in blackface? You'd be like, ah! <laughs> beautiful, amazing job. Out. You totally look like a little black girl. She looked like she got a pop on Instagram in Sweden. That's what she looked like, okay? <laughs> and she likes black culture. That's what she looks like. We look like twins, huh? <laughs> Today was like the experimental day. It was the yay or nay, will this work? My first time as a black girl, I went to South Central. Going undercover in the black world is amazing. People were talking to me like, my sister. <laughs> See, Lee was trying to holler. What? Holler means. Oh! And mind you, that was all before internet and before, you know what I mean? So people were not mingling so much. So there was a lot of lingo that they were not aware of. When I'm in black makeup, I wasn't like scared. If anything, I was just like, I look black. People regarded me as a black girl. It was selling. That smells good. This guy should be pretty comfortable right from the start. Mm -hmm. Imagine. I'm really black. Whoa! I'm not tying no black man shoes. <laughs> Whoa there, buddy. <laughs> I've never in my life had someone, you know, they come out and give me my shoe, but I've never had anyone actually unlace it, open it, shoehorn the back, and slide my foot into the shoe. Is this what the white guys get? This is all the benefits they get? <laughs> they pull ball. Well, white guys every day, everywhere at home, like, I've never had anyone put a shoe on me. <laughs> what if white guys everywhere were like, oh, you Negroes don't. <laughs> well, well, it's rather disgusting that you have to live amongst the riffraff and not have your shoes be placed onto your delicate soft feet. Oh, how terrible it must be to be a Negroid. Oh. <laughs> I believe there's a, a lot that you can take away from this experience. If you just place enough value and time into engaging with Caucasoid ideas, there may be an opportunity for you to elevate your position. Oh. It's never happened to me black in 40 years. The first time I go and buy shoes as white, I have it done. I was like, wow, the possibilities are endless. Did it not occur to you that maybe because the TV's there and the camera crew's there that maybe showing you extra customer service and it's not linked to race? You know, I'm going to be on television. I might go above and beyond. Make sure your burger looks nice. Make sure your shoe fits well. No, it's got to be about race. My expectations of living with a white family, uh, I, I was just hoping going in that they were nice, um, that they were clean. I'm when I'm getting ready to cook, that the kitchen's clean. Yeah. Yeah. Dishes. Yeah. Renee seems very strong-minded very clear about what she thinks. Well, when I first met Carmen, I thought, she's weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know why she's weird? I'm gonna tell you why she's weird, because she's on an experiment. Yes. She is, oh, let's see how you guys do it. That's Again, why she's weird. It's that glass window yeah. that I told you about, where it's like you're yeah. observing somebody. Yeah, that's why it's weird. It's, it's like, I'm trying to talk to you, and you're trying to gather information. It's weird. You, you're trying to just do your thing. You just oh, is that where you poop? You just trying to do. You just try to do your thing, but she's really exploring. Oh, oh is that you, how you guys do it? Mm. You guys eat the chicken bone? Yeah, oh, interesting. What if that thing washing their chicken really? Oh, they wash their chicken. <laughs> ding ding. <laughs> Nick is very introspective. He was uh, the quiet one of the bunch. You mean he's getting into school shooter <laughs> mode? He said, "If I'm gonna be white, let me do it right." <laughs> If one of my classmates calls me a tool, best believe I'm going to shoot up this school. My Bars. name is Bruno. Bars. That's a pretty good one, eh? It's pretty good. Yeah. First thing we had to do was teach each other how to pass as the members of the other race. We're going to help each other walk the walk and talk the talk. All right, so we got to help y'all pass black. Okay. Yeah. I was Where figuring I would walk in and just basically high five everybody. Ah! <laughs> ah! How is, nah, how is this a real show? Call How is this a real show? I see solar stanny. Being black is a very subtle thing, you know. Go ahead, Kyle. I'm in this project to see if black people are just the same as white people. 
By becoming a black girl, I want to see if I can identify with other black kids and learn about their culture. Today I went to the mall and I met Duran and Poetry, who are in charge of a slam poetry class. They knew that I was white, but I was still in black makeup. Do you know anything about that poetry gym? No! This is a setup. There's no way this can no, end well. This is, There's no way this no, can end well. No. There's no way this can end well. No. This is a setup. And, and you see, I just want to point out something, right? The resurgence of blackface, when we say what, when we think, oh shit, he had bad face back then. Back then, people were not so... I'm not saying that blackface is a new thing, but it's a resurgence of... People digging books and stuff like that, and they educate themselves. Because back they don't seem to be bothered. I want to see this, this today mm. take place. Mm. It wouldn't end well. Just that. Th uh, I, I, I agree. I never tried to do slam poetry. I want everybody to introduce themselves and tell me your favorite entertainer. My name is Latoya Higgs. My favorite artist is Mary J. Blige. My name is Sheree Busby, and my favorite entertainer is Prince. Okay, blessed. I'm an avid Michael Jackson fan. My name is Jonathan. My favorite performer is Dave Chappelle. Um, my name is Rose, and my favorite entertainer, I kind of love the Cranberries. So, the Cranberries. The cranberries. Diverse. Yeah, exactly, definitely. Salvation, salvation, salvation is near. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for that rendition. No problem. Whenever we do our poems, we have to stand up. Okay? I don't know how to face this. I'm standing in the mirror faceless. My mom is at my shoulder telling me to escape this. There's so many far before me with war life stories of prison and death. I'll take a deep ass breath. What, what, what is this that torment? If she says, wow, they look really angry. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a loser. Can you be mad at her? I why, why, why would you doubt what she's trying to say when she's made it clear, clear, clear what she's trying to relay? She doesn't understand the emotion that's flowing within the ocean of your chest. Brother, you know you came with the best energy today. Built in within the black community, there's a sense of synergy today. Okay. What you gonna say? Am I wrong though? You're not. Okay. Because right now I'm in a flow state. Click clack. This is Texas, baby. This is a gun state. Why are you laughing? Get off my property. You on my estate. You got that essay? Huh? I bet it look AZ. You feel me? That was pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm not even mad at myself. I'm not, no, hey, that's how I let you go. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. You move but on. you didn't clap though. You didn't, you didn't, you didn't, you, 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 you didn't clap. snap. No, you didn't snap for, for Abazubu King the Third. Good, good. Stop your fingers. Do, do your thing. You, you can, can do, do it all by yourself. Baby girl, what's your name? <laughs> I'm T Pain. I felt like a lamb in a lion's den. These people rock, and they're speaking about being black from their heart of hearts. And I'm hoping to God that this sounds black. Okay. Thank you. Many words, my life, the so simple complexities of a human psyche. To even relish in my thoughts of romantic stride. My skin to his. <sighs> my touch returned. A mutual undulation of want and reciprocal acceptability and performance. A ritual so profound, the taste of sex. The body, flush with hot and sticky fantastic. A basket of unbroken fruit, a dripping bouquet of red, ripe woman. The pulp of the soul spread lavishly over the human chemistry when discovery and pleasure were encouraged. Thank you. <laughs> the performability of the lavish ways the witch with fruits and red engages with the blush colors of orange and blue as an azure ocean comes in contact with my proliferation of emotions breeding within me a scene that I haven't seen for a long time a strong sign that what I'm feeling is love cuff and a hot warm dove the title of this poem is, Baby, You Trying to Fuck? <laughs> That's what it felt like. Were you nervous? 
shitless. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I felt no. that you were nervous. So yeah. this uh, you have a lot of big words. I have a lot of big words. I don't get, you know, right. and you have to know your audience and know that if you're speaking to an audience of people, that not everybody's gonna understand what you're talking about. I'm not about to go into a place and pretend that I know what I'm doing. But if for some reason I start changing and growing and learning in a different way that I didn't expect, I'll let it happen. When I started to realize that it did feel real and it made me feel like now I've got some friends on board and that I needed. How do white women dance? <laughs> you know exactly. It's very wavy, isn't it? It's wavy. Yeah, isn't that exactly what she's doing? Because what they're trying to do is that they're trying to catch the music. Yeah. They're trying to catch the music. It's in there, up there. Ooh, here's the bass. <laughs> Each other. My dad is always talking about how whites are treated differently than black people. But my generation now, we really don't see all that. We just see people. As long as you cool with us, then we cool with you. Oh my goodness, check it out. Oh my God. Wow, amazing. I'm going to be white today. Stop playing. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be white today. I'm going to be white today. So I want to go and do something only white kids do. Today, I'm going to edit a class with Nick to see how well he blends in with white kids. Nice to meet you, Claudia. Maybe like really bougie, rich white kids from Bel Air. White kids do not do this. Claudia Rose, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Rose. Hi, I'm Claudia. Nice Nick. to meet you. Nick. Etiquette, actually, it's not just rules. It's the way you behave, the way you're going to be accepted. Basically, it teaches you know how to eat at fancy restaurants and how to greet people and be polite. I want to see you pretend to eat your soup. Pretend, pretend you're, you're, you're really eating. Pretend you're really eating. OK, you eat from the inside to the outside yeah Jeez, remember to... when your mom used to feed you it was like this yes okay you guys are grown-ups now i actually don't think nick is enjoying himself at all what do you think what do you think about the first episode it was it was like <laughs> to be fair there were some other scenes in regards to stuff like um i don't know i didn't really watch it completely but there were scenes about you know, the guy goes to buy a car for the first time as a black man. So there's a lot more. I, honestly, I didn't think for us to watch the whole 40-minute episode, we would have lasted. So I just had someone cut up highlights for me. Yeah. If you guys enjoy this, we'll, we'll do some more. There's going to be two other episodes on the Patreon. And if people really want the series out, we'll put it out publicly. But good Lord. But you have to advise. You have to, you have to, you have to warn me before. What? I can't do this. Like this Do is, what? This is hard to watch. What's hard to watch? This. What was hard about it? It's just cringe. There's a lot of cringe. More than Skippy cringe. Man, listen, back in the day, they had some crazy shows. They were just like, man, what can we make money off of? Anything we can make money off, let's do it. And they really did that shit. But uh, shout out to them. But yeah, you <coughs> uh, asked me what I thought about that. And it's just that they have their stereotypes of like black people and white people all wrong. Like, it's bougie, bougie, bougie. Bougie shit, you know? And they... Just the show, it's not even the people on the show that was inherently racist or whatever. It's the show. The show was. Hey, man. What Listen. they were proposing was just... The makeup was trash. Neither of them really looked white except for the sun, and neither of them really looked black. Period. They really looked like they went into a coal mine, worked for a full day, and came out and decided they weren't going to shower anymore. Well, the least, person, the, the, the least bad person was... The, the the white girl that's a makeup that was at least oh, cringe man. but no it was terrible two parents that's terrible yeah, damn. but anyways what do you guys think in the comments we want to hear from you guys what did you horrid. think horrid <laughs> horrid you're welcome <laughs> horrid <laughs>